One little detail I like about Young Link is... Well, I'll show you. Yeah, you start back in your own humble abode. So no matter how far you travel in this world, you'll always have a home. Well, that's going to change soon. Enjoy it while it lasts. Hey, yo, Paisanos! This is Toon Gamer 23. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, in the last part, we did some exploration, and we wanted to do it with Zelda together as a team, but she she couldn't wait around any longer, so she left the Ocarina of Time in Link's hands. It's up to him now to protect the Triforce. But we've still got time to collect some more goodies. So our next stop is Lon Lon Ranch. So let's head there. All right, we're back in Lon Lon Ranch. Where the horses in the corral are just as lively as ever. Let's come back at night time though. There's a couple of gold skeletalas that are here that we couldn't obtain earlier, but now that we've got the boomerang, we can let him have it. Ah. Aim was a little off there. All right. Ah. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of a tricky angle. All right. Let's see around this field at nighttime. There's Gues. I think I think that's how that's pronounced. Gues, Gues, or something. Okay, so we head around to the southwestern parts with the silo, I think. Yeah, I think it's a silo. Back, stupid birds. Alright. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Ah! Tit for tat. You hit me, I hit you. Alright. So that should be our 40th. Alright. Cool beans. So we have just enough for our fourth prize from the House of Skulltula, but we're... we still got a couple more to find, so... So yeah. 40 down, 60 left. But the vast majority of them won't be available until seven years later, I guess. Oh, where they put Epina? I don't see her anywhere. Not even in this central focal point. Yeah, there's nothing there. Where do they put Epina at night? Poor girl.
Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, um... You recall a while back, there were some bombable boulders that I kind of skipped over due to time constraints, but let's see if we can go for them now. So yeah, there's one right over there. Alright. Ah! Alright. Into the ditch we go. Okay, just another normal cave with a fiber. Okay. You know, I can't really say the term fiber without thinking of the website. With all those freelance jobs. I actually ought to try it out sometime with, uh, like... One of my friends have been has been kind of recommending me to... Like, uh, with some side projects I've been doing with, uh... With some, like, 3D modeling. I haven't been able to do much lately due to just being busy with LPing, but when I get back to it, I think it'll be a good start. Oh, another fairy's fountain. Well, we don't have any fairies on hand, so let's go ahead and capture one. Alright. And our health's replenished. It's kind of a shame that it doesn't do the same thing for the magic. I mean, aren't, aren't those uh, fairies basically magic incarnate? P-Hat! It's roots point as its roots! Okay, so just... Chop its stubby little... Tail there. I hope that's his tail. Oh! <laughs> and just spontaneously combusts. Or spontaneously explodes. That's right, combusting is when you catch fire. Okay, we. Roll our way all the way to the western point of the field. Up along these short fences. Oh, hey, there's some guy just. Running about. Let's see what he has to say. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Whoa. Pia Narva, defend with your shield. Well, the night's coming on, so so he's probably gonna take a breather at night time. Okay. Okay, so the shields just basically knocks those larvae back to oblivion. Let's see what this guy has. Okay, finally. In old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore, though, because of excessive hunting. I want to become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears, hop along, hop across the ground with those legs. Even if I can only pretend. Ooh, a bunny rabbit, you say? 
That's right. Okay, put on this bunny hood. Oh, I completely forgot about this, but watch what happens. Okay, you see how these stall ch children are still stalking you at nighttime? Well, if you wear your the bunny hood, they don't bother you. So that's an added quirk. But I suppose we should give this to that guy. There's a little gift. I bet with those long ears you can hear the voices. Oh, those are genuine rabbit ears from the Animal of Legend. I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me. My long time dream! Returning to the wildlife! Finally, the actor, stage, and prop have been reunited! It's a 50 ruby mask, but he paid you a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count. And we basically got the giant's wallet just at the right time, because we maxed out thanks to this guy. Go back to the mask job and pay back just 50 rubies of this money. Alright. Man, this guy was loaded and he just threw it all at our face. Make it rain. <laughs> I bet nobody is faster than I am now. But I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Well, you decide, pal. For me, I'm just an average mask salesman. And adventurer. And soul protector of the Triforce. Oh, I, I like that little detail. It's sold out. Okay, then. Nice boulder. We should bomb. Kaboomski! Okay. Oh, another little grotto. Okay, then. Ooh, a red one. No, but we're already maxed out, so... I don't know, it's just my OCD just... overtaking it. Yeah, I gotta want to take care of that pea hat from up high. Ah! Okay, I'm getting frantic. Ah! Gah! Come on! Team True, come on! Gah! Never mind! Oh! Okay. I'm not gonna bother with them anymore. Okay, six shots. Man. 
There goes that guy again. Okay, so yeah, with no no bunny hoods, I'm basically just out here at night with the skull kid, with the stall children. Just be glad they're not the fully grown type. You'll regret it someday. So let's finally see what's at the western edge. It's pretty much the only place we haven't explored in Hyrule. Yet. Okay, when the grassy fields becomes the dusty desert. Let me see. Ring of stones and they feel a rumble. Let's see if this'll this'll work. Aha! Ooh. Flame on. Burn them all. Oh wow! Wow, <laughs> Okay. So. Alright, got him. Alright, so there's uh, another gold sculpture up there. Play Epines song. This this lonely cow down here, just to make her feel comfortable. Ooh, what a nice song! It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me so good. I can produce a lot of milk. Have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. I couldn't really decide what, what voice to g give a cow, just like a... Then I remembered it was a she cow. I mean, honestly, you can't get milk from a male cow. Okay then. When the sun rises. We could probably head in right now. What lies beyond this sign? Gerudo Valley. Or is it Gerudo Valley? There's just a lot of names in this game that I don't know really how to pronounce correctly. If... I, I don't know. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. It's basically the same. Alright. Get ready for the coolest sounding music in the game. Yeah. This music really gets you pumped for adventure, doesn't it? No diving allowed. It won't do you any good. Well, why to be blunt about that? Yeah, it won't do you any type of good. 
It's a long way down. Might possibly break both of your legs and arms. And your neck. The Gerudo's Fortress is located behind this gate. A kid like you has no business there. Yep, so... Ain't got no business being around here, but... Doesn't mean we can't just stick around listen to this kick-ass theme. I mean, seriously, who, who doesn't love this song? I mean, if you don't like the gameplay itself, that's that's understandable. But one thing that I think is is pretty much uh, what sticks out the most is the soundtrack. From the calm, peaceful sereneness of Zora's domain to like the warm, welcoming, but yet of uh, quirky Kokiri forests and. Just the busy, bustling Gorons in Goron City. Each soundtrack is unique. And I applaud this game for it. Alright, so yeah, Skulltula just magically appears. Right at the mouth of that water source. Alright. Yoink! I'll take that. Yes! Okay, so. I know diving's not a good idea, but. There is something else. Over down there. There's a crate. Just a solitary crate on a cliff overhang. Alright. Come here, feathers. I need your power of flight to gently float down. Okay. Not much. Alright. Alright. Piece of heart. Give it to me. Alright. Oh! Oh, it did it, it Well, there it goes. Go. Oh, well. Well, here we go. <laughs> Down the waterfalls and... Back to hey, Lake Hylia. Alright. Well, I guess this ain't a, too bad of a place to be. I still need to get that heart piece from the fishing pond. can actually catch a, a fish that's 11 pounds or greater. Okay, so yeah, there's... There was that gold sculptula right over there, but... Let's change it to nighttime. Again. Okay. So. Ah! Were those, were those bridge ropes just make a clanging noise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I believe there's actually one last gold sculpture we can get before venturing onward. Okay, just ignore this guy, ignore the owl. And I do believe it's either... It's probably here, I think. Ah, okay. 
We'll get there. Get there when we get there. Okay, so maybe I was mistaken. Okay, so yeah, there's still one last gold sculptula. Question is, where do we find it? Well, since this owl is, uh, there's actually one thing I want to get while we're still in this part. Okay, so. Okay. I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talons. Alright. Here we go. Another grand flight. Away from the lake, all the way to Hyrule Castle. We should be going anyway, but for a different reason. Alright. And we've got way more than enough to pay off what we owe for the mask, so... Alrighty. Oh great, you spilled it! Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now! Oh yeah! Very well done! All the masks are sold out! I knew I could trust you! As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, you borrowed a mask of truth. Where would we see to show it off? Show it to many people. Okay, and as you can see, is magically uh, there's also a few optional masks we can wear. From now on, from now on, you can borrow any mask you want. Just have faith. Okay, so yeah, we can. Okay, so yeah, there's. So there's eight slots in total, so yeah, we obviously sold off these masks, but now we can... they're free to borrow, so yeah. So yeah, you can have the Mask of Azora, the Mask of Agorn, and the Mask of a Gerudo Thief. Or the Mask of Truth, which we've got right now. So, anyway, real quick, I just want to go into... Kokiri Forest for one more thing. Into the Lost Woods, basically. Alrighty, so just in front of the entrance you'll see a Gossip Stone. So, this mask has the same type of look as the Gossip Stone, so let's check it out with the mask. Responding to your mask, this strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that the small holes in the ground that you can find all over Hyrule make perfect breeding ground for bugs. Okay, so yeah, there's little juicy tidbits right there. Oh, I feel, feel rumble. Not sure if a uh, bomb will do the trick, but let's try it out. Nope. Okay, so let's head in and go to where we need to go. Okay, all the way to the fourth stage. Now, you want to do this before opening the door of time and accomplishing any tasks within there, because if you try to come back later on as a kid, this, there's a glitch that won't let you have this. Well, here, I'll show you. 
All right, so you wore the skull mask. They went wild over that. Let's see what happens when you wear the mask of truth. All right, so they look to the elder. Looks like you guys are just not really as excited as before, but. All my young Deku shrub brothers say, you have a horrible face. But don't worry, we will reward you with many Deku nuts. Of course, we will also enable you to carry more of them. Abracadabra, Alakazam! Alright, you can now carry even more Deku nuts. You can carry up to 40. Sweetness. Okay. So yeah, that little bit right there with the Mask of Truth, it's really nifty. Okay, we don't use, ah, yeah, we don't use those a lot, but, uh, okay, well, there's still a, a few more items left to collect. I know I kind of promised that would, we'd get on with the main adventure in this part, but it's probably going to be a little... In a little bit. And in the next part. There was actually a place down at the bottom of Gerudo Valley uh, that I missed. I don't know why, just the, the chicken just flew the coop. I would have just grabbed it, but... Anyway, um... And there's also one last gold skeleton to collect. So I'll be wrapping things up and we can finally get to the door of time to unlock it in the next part. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and if you would leave a comment and or like, that would be most appreciated. Until next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, this is ToonGamer23 signing out. Ah, the whimsy of the lost woods, even though you're lost, you're in the woods. This whole quest so far has just had this sense of whimsy, even though it was dangerous. But things are probably going to be a bit more complicated from now on. Okay, let's see what happens when we return to the Happy Mask shop and we don't have enough money to pay back the guy for the mask. Let's see. Oh, great! You sold it! Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. What? You don't have my money?! How dare you! You better bring me my money or else! Oh boy! I don't know which is scarier, Ganondorf or that guy when he's pissed. <laughs> Do not get him in a bad mood. He'll stare into your soul with that permanent smile on his face. <laughs> so yeah. You'll get that reaction when you don't have enough groupies.